U.S. prosecutors say disgraced crypto mogul Sam Bankman-Fried used money he stole from customers of his FTX exchange to make more than $100 million in political donations for the 2022 midterm elections. That's according to an amended indictment on Monday. It said Bankman-Fried directed two FTX executives to donate to both Democrats and Republicans, evading finance contribution limits, and he told them to conceal where the money came from. The indictment doesn't name the two people prosecutors say he used as straw donors, but other court papers and Federal Elections Commission data show they are Nishad Singh, FTX's former engineering chief, and Ryan Salem, the former co-CEO of FTX's unit in the Bahamas. Singh pleaded guilty to fraud and campaign finance violations in February. He donated nearly $10 million to Democratic candidates and causes and said in court he knew the money came from FTX customers. FEC data showed Salem gave more than $24 million to Republican candidates and causes in the 2022 election cycle. He hasn't been charged, and in a separate court filing on Monday, prosecutors said Salem's lawyer had told them he would invoke his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination if called to testify. Salem's lawyer did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The superseding indictment against Bankman Freed said the 31-year-old leveraged this influence in turn to lobby Congress and regulatory agencies to support legislation and regulation he believed would make it easier for FTX to continue to accept customer deposits and grow. Bankman Freed faces seven counts of conspiracy and fraud over FTX's collapse in November 2022. He previously pleaded not guilty to stealing billions in customer funds to plug losses at his hedge fund, Alameda Research. He remains in jail after a judge revoked his bail over fears of witness tampering.